This is an ultrasound examination with Doppler interrogation of the liver. This is a transverse image of the right lobe of the liver and this liver appears to be heterogeneous in appearance with focal hyperechoic areas. There appears to be a small amount of free fluid uh, anterior to the liver. This color Doppler image shows that the left portal vein has flow going toward the bottom of the screen. That's why it's blue. And this is a flow that is going out of the liver. It's either retrograde or uh, hepatofugal. This is a pulse Doppler that demonstrates reversed flow in the left portal vein. The flow is uh, continuous. One more example of reverse flow. The sonographer has labeled the area in the uh, port of the liver as an area containing uh, uh, a uh, cavernosal transformation of the liver. And this image demonstrates virtually no flow or very little flow in the main portal vein and a significant amount of flow surrounding it, uh, which uh, again may indicate that the, uh, there is a cavernosal transformation. This is an image demonstrating the main portal vein again with flow around it, but not within it. Ultrasound uh, with pulse Doppler of the main portal vein demonstrates no flow within it. This is the so-called yin and yang or to and fro sign. This is just motion of the vein and solid material moving slightly back and forth within the lumen of the main portal vein. A portion of the right portal vein has hepatofugal flow. We can demonstrate it's blue uh, and it's flowing toward the porta and not away from the porta. Again, another demonstration of uh, reversed flow in the right portal vein. This image demonstrates that there is a slight amount of blood flow within the main portal vein, but that it is hepatofugal and it is a very low velocity flowing out of the liver. This is an image of the right hepatic vein and uh, this is abnormal flow. There's almost continuous flow here. There's no evidence of an atrial kick. There should be a phasic flow or pulsatility flow within this vein. This is, uh, there's limited uh, views of the hepatic veins, but all three of them appear to be filled with color indicating that they are patent. Another image showing the patency of the hepatic veins. And one more showing the right middle and left hepatic veins, all flowing in the correct direction, flowing toward the vena cava down in this location. The spleen has been measured in this patient and is 9.2, which is a normal measurement for the spleen. It may be perhaps foreshortened a little bit, but still would be in the normal range. This patient has a, a total obstruction or near total obstruction of the main portal vein, likely with thrombus, has uh, some heterogeneity in the appearance of the liver. There is cavernous transformation 
of the portal vein and flow in this area is out of the liver. So this uh, this has a, a reversed flow in the cavernous portion of the portal system. There is also evidence of abnormal blood flow in the hepatic veins, although examination of these veins was limited. 